So pre-diabetes is when the blood glucose level is rising to above 6 mmols. The normal blood glucose levels range 4 to 7 mmols. The difference between type 1 and type 2 is in type 1, the body is not making any insulin at all. So the cells that produce insulin, they're not working completely. Um, in type 2, the body is still producing some insulin, but for some reason it's probably not working as well as it ought to. The HbA1c looks at the amount of glucose that's stuck to the red blood cells during the life of that red blood cell, which is two to three months. If, you're ha if you have prediabetes, you don't really need to be measuring your blood, your blood sugar levels. That's something that the GP would do when you have your annual, if you have having blood, blood tests done, they'll do a, either a fasting glucose or an HbA1c. So the blood glucose levels can, will vary and does vary depending on what, what, you've, what, what diet you've had or what medication you've had or exercise. All these can affect the, the blood glucose levels. Certain medication can lead to low blood glucose levels, for instance, sulfonylurea or if you're on insulin, and then you would need to be monitoring your blood glucose levels. Pre-diabetes doesn't normally present with any visible symptoms, but if you're overweight or you have an inactive lifestyle, you might need to change this to prevent you developing diabetes. The symptoms of type 2 diabetes are thirst, tiredness, frequency of infections, and passing urine a lot. We've seen a higher incidence of type 2 diabetes in the younger generation due to the sedentary lifestyle and also as people are living longer we're seeing more higher incidence in the older age group. The most important treatment for pre-diabetes is diet and exercise. By doing this you can get your blood glucose levels back to the normal levers. With type 2 diabetes, if the lifestyle changes you make in the first instance and then the oral medication are not effective in controlling the diabetes, then you may need to go on to having in insulin injections to control your diabetes.